Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA video, we have a wild GTA 6 leak to talk about that if it is true, that means some great news is going to be coming soon. So let's see where this all started. It was posted on this account the other day on Instagram called That's So Bold. And they have almost 100,000 followers. They are a news and media website your number one source for daily news and popular content. They have over 4,000 posts, so they upload a lot on Instagram. Maybe you guys end up following them. Maybe you don't. But this is one of their posts that they put out the other day. Now, before we get things started, this video is sponsored by Asphalt 9 Legends, which is a free-to-download arcade racing game on Xbox that's easy to play but super hard to master. And what's great is you can play up to 4K and 120 FPS. Now, for a limited time, you can download and receive a limited edition and Xbox-themed Porsche 911 GTS Coupe as a gift, and it also features cross-play and cross-save with PC and Windows 10. You can start a club, grind the leaderboards, race against friends in club mode, collect over 140 of the world's most amazing cars, compete in over 900 solo career events, or in live eight-player races for the ultimate rewards. You can race across 180 tracks in 12 real-world locations, and you can complete in daily events to rack up resources for your rides, and even special events to win exclusive cars while competing in custom game modes. So if you want to jump in on the action for yourself, click the link in the description. You can get Asphalt 9 now for free on Xbox, and who knows, you guys might have the chance to even race against me. That'd be pretty cool. It was GTA 6 will be announced November, December, and will take place in Miami featuring hurricanes, gators, and more. And they posted this fan-created artwork right here. And they said GTA 6 will be announced November, December, and will take place in Miami featuring hurricanes, gators, and more. We heard that. News sources are confirming that GTA 6 will be announced and teased with an trailer starting November through December will be three times bigger than the GTA 5 map. The GTA 6 map will change over time with updates from Rockstar, similar to Epic Games' Fortnite map. Wow, so we have a lot to talk about here. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. Let's start with that first part, that it's going to be announced November and December. Now, the full description was announced and teased with a trailer starting November through December, and that sounds awesome. So the only problem is we don't have a ton of details or follow-up here. This individual didn't post their sources or didn't follow up in any way, shape, or form. So let's just go ahead and talk about it on its face value. If it's going to be announced, teased, and a trailer will happen on November through December, it kind of makes you wonder if it's going to happen in pieces. Sort of similar to the Red Dead Redemption 2 reveal. Remember on Rockstar social media, they posted just like a red Rockstar Games logo. Then they posted like the outlines of the Vanderlyn gang. And then the next day they said a trailer is going to be coming. I wonder if it's going to be working like that. Now, the big question is, is also when is that November, December going to be? Is that going to be of this year, 2021? Is that going to be 2022? Is it going to be 2023? At this point, we don't know. Now, I will say, usually Rockstar does not announce and reveal stuff during the month of November and December. Just looking back at the last two releases, GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, that sort of happened in the August, September, October. But at that point, tomato, tomato, you're really splitting hairs. It honestly sounds like it's close enough and is around the same timeline. And that would be cool to get a little trailer, just like how we got with Red Dead Redemption 2, find out some details about the game. And this would be a appropriate time to do so, considering all the negative publicity that Rockstar is getting recently. As you guys know, with the Grand Theft Auto Online updates, the Red Dead Online updates they're doing, the news of expanded and enhanced being delayed, and not really great news surrounding that. I think Rockstar needs a, a lightning in a bottle here. In fact, I think the only thing that players and fans will be excited about is the announcement of GTA 6. So maybe Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar were like, okay, we weren't going to announce it this soon, but we've got to go for it. Because it really was not looking good for Rockstar and still to this day continues to not look so good for Rockstar. So now let's talk about the other parts of the leak that were discussed. It's going to be taking place in Miami, which would be fictional Vice City. 
This is the rumor that we have heard for several years now. Now, if it's going to be a modern day Vice City or back in the 80s or even earlier, we don't know. We also don't know if it's going to feature more parts of the map than just like Vice City. Will it include other areas of fictional Florida? That is yet to be seen. Uh, if it does feature in Miami, it's very likely that there will be hurricanes. That is weather that uh, people in Florida and Miami deal with all the time. There's also going to be wildlife like gators. That's one part of Red Dead Redemption 2 that I did really like was all the animals, the birds, the horses. And if Rockstar incorporated that in some way, shape, or form into the next Grand Theft Auto game, that would be nice. And then, and more, Rockstar loved to say and more because who knows what that might end up meaning. One of the big things here is that it will be three times bigger than the GTA 5 map. The Grand Theft Auto 5 map is massive. It's the biggest in the GTA series. So three times the size of that, that's crazy. That would be like combining Los Santos, San Fierro, and Las Venturas. So if that's going to be the case, it's definitely going to be more than just Vice City. It's probably going to be Vice City, surrounding areas, other parts of Florida per se, maybe even some islands, kind of like what we saw Rockstar experiment with the Cayo Perico heist and Grand Theft Auto Online. I could totally see that happening as well. And then we've heard this report before that the GTA 6 map is going to change over times with updates, very similar to how Epic Games does with Fortnite during their various seasons. The map changes over time. Now, another report regarding things similar to Fortnite is that's how the game is going to be announced with a sort of Fortnite style event that actually takes place in GTA Online. So it sounds like Rockstar has taken a lot of inspiration from the success of Fortnite and from Epic Games, if this leak is rumored to be true. Now that's a big if there, and this is where things took a surprising twist because this same account that ended up announcing this, that's so bold, their Twitter account got suspended after this. Their username is the exact same on Twitter, but it was suddenly suspended hours after this post came up. Now, I am not sure if this is tied to that GTA 6 leak or not. Just looking at their Instagram, they post a lot of content that does not belong to them. It's like things they don't create, pictures from other people. So maybe it was a copyright dispute of something else. I do not think this was the doing of Rockstar because that means it would essentially confirm that to be true. So maybe even if it is true, they're working with a way to not make it so obvious that they just suspend them on Twitter altogether. But that's usually what something like that means, is that if it gets removed or suspended, then it means it's probably true because the person who actually had copyrights on that content ended up having them take it down. So I do not know what to believe here. This is very interesting news and it kind of features things that we've heard before, like it's going to be in Vice City, the map is going to change over time. I think the big things to take here is that it's going to be announced, teased, and a trailer will arrive November through December. Like, is that like in 60 days or is that like next year or two years from now? And that the map is going to be three times bigger, that is absolutely massive. So of course, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about this leak. Do you think it's real, fake, somewhere in between? What do you think about their Twitter account being removed? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.